Yeah, the uh, reason why I'm so strange in you know with sex and things like that is that I never developed good enough um, communication skills. I can't I can't handle the context of a discussion, and um, it's very hard for me to read what other people are saying. So to actually be able to flirt with a girl, I would completely miss uh, miss the mark. It would be like I was almost autistic because this this happens to people that are autistic. So it's easier for me to talk to a, a microphone than to be in a discussion with other people. And as a result, um, I feel like I'm a special case, and it's kind of my get out of jail free card um, in terms of in terms of how I get off. And um, it, it's not important for me to get married. It's not important for me to um, have any kind of sexual relations because it wouldn't work. For me, it just wouldn't work for a number of reasons. Some is that I have fear of STDs. Another is, is that I don't believe that marriages can actually work, at least not in this day and age, because people aren't able to really um, submit themselves to the others. And so I just believe it would fail even if I got married. So marriage doesn't even make sense to me. Um, I don't believe in having sex relationships because I, I have a fear of STDs. And so other people would go chasing after such stuff. It doesn't interest me at all because it's so much easier for me to satisfy myself with the way that I know that I can be satisfied um, than it is for somebody else to do it for me. And I think in this day of COVID and all the, the potential um, things that might happen in the future, What's the point in having a, a family anymore? I mean, you can consider a, 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 a group of friends you have as being your family. You don't need to have children. I mean, there's already way too many people on the face of the earth. Why do we need any more? And that, that, so I just don't have the drive to do what everybody thinks to be normal in the world. My drive is to, to, be, to, to satisfy myself on that respect and then maybe to try to help the world in some other respect but it's 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 losing I'm losing interest in it the idea of helping the world because I don't believe it can be helped I don't I think people can do only what they can do but this belief that everything's going to get fixed it's bullshit it's not going to get fixed um when you fix one thing with everything that with every bit of technology you release there's a potential that could be used for the wrong thing and the right thing and you don't know what it's going to do so what's the point in even developing the technology in the first place so i've become as a result um i've kind of developed a mindset of being a luddite and the only time that i use technology is when it's to satisfy me i don't use technology to control people it's not my interest to use technology to control people. However, in this game, I am controlling people to an extent. But I'm really just, I'm just suggesting to them stuff. And then when they don't do th things as I expect them to, I switch to the other faction. That's probably unfair to them, but, you know, if they really thought that I was not a very um, helpful person at all, and they heckle me and all this stuff, um, then I would tend to wonder... Um, why the <laughs> why it would even matter if I went from one faction to another? I I have a feeling that it does really perturb them that what I do on each faction. They think that I'm cheating and not I'm doing none of such. I'm using the same tools they're using. I'm not um, hacking anything because I don't believe that um, I don't believe in downloading hacks and using hacks because I believe that they could give me malware. They could give me a rootkit. And these people that are using the games, the ones that do have the cracks, don't realize what kind of trouble they're getting themselves into. They're risking the potential of, of identity theft by another individual, and it could put them in a world of trouble and, and lower their credit score, and then they wouldn't be able to go out and do anything. They would be stuck in a dead-end job for the rest of their life. And that's not... It's not worth it to hack this game just to get 
one up on someone else because it's unfair. And uh, all I do is I just point out that there's stuff, there are strategies out there. And if you don't fall, if you if you think that if you think that nobody can uh, if you think that nobody can uh, <sighs> can win at this game without cheating like that, then uh, you're mistaken because I can do it myself. And I don't cheat at this game. The only things that I really do that might be considered cheating is I spend money to get things that I need that that I know are effective for me and, and, it, and it makes it easier for me to, to go after the enemy. Now, if you think that's cheating then consider that they put it in the game and if you're still compelled to play the game then you are probably not aware that this is not going to help you at all the only way that you're going to get through this game is to do what they want you to do and that is to buy the stuff and that people here consider that to be you know I said say well then if they don't get paid they're not going to develop it anymore and you won't have the game at all. So this idea that you can get something for nothing, um, it may be attractive, but it leads to really nothing of any worth. And then you just end up wasting your time and not you're you're not saving money. You're losing money, and you're you're not saving time. You're losing time. It's it really is and I'm probably the biggest time waster of anyone out on the face of the planet I've time wasted in just about every way and I'm kind of running out of time and so I don't for me this is just a, a nice little victory here and there something I can do now until the afterlife comes or whatever I wonder they're still talking about this shit. <laughs> no. Nope. You are all doomed. as these schools aren't teaching anything anything of worth and yeah If that were, were the case, we'd have a democracy. And policemen wouldn't be naturally, naturally underfoot. as they are.
<laughs> Where is this thing? How do you get up there? I assume he'll find it. I can't find it. The thing is, is I really don't want to be uh, talked to by these people. If they're, if they, th if they're going to. If they're going to talk me up and try to get me to say things, I'm just going to paint a bitter future. I mean, the, the, the future could be good. I, I see good future and I see bad future. And it's all a matter on what everybody does. I will not have any control over this. Um, it's better to pay, paint a bleak future and then for people to try to make it better than to paint a better future and then let it get worse okay because if you paint a really rosy future then people are never going to learn what's wrong with it okay they're they're going to assume that a lot of stuff that isn't there okay but if you say it's going to be fucked it's it's all going to be terrible you know, there's terrible things coming ahead. But this isn't the end of the, the, the ticket. Then people are going to start wondering about what could be done to prevent that. And part of that is to stop treating each other like pieces of crap all the time. I mean, it isn't like I'm helping that any. But whenever I'm trying to help people, there are other people that are sitting there heckling me saying I don't know what I'm talking about and blah, 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 blah. And, you know. And these are people that are into character assassination. If you're into character assassination, you just do not have any in uh, I any interest in in producing a productive conversation. You're looking for you're looking for a way. I see. I don't even know what productive conversation looks like much myself, but when people are into one-upsmanship and saying you don't know anything or you don't know it's because they're they're used to not getting truth and so 
they're into conspiracy theory. They're into, I know what's truth to me. You don't know what's truth to me. Um, it's because they've never been successful at doing anything of it, of any greatness. And because of that effect of that there's few truths and, and a lot of depression, then I guess it just fuels the idea that the, the things are just not going to change. I, I think it would be easier for me to say that things are not going to change and that it's going to get worse than to say that it's going to get better. Because if you say that it's going to get better, then, then, uh, then what are the milestones you're going to look for to determine what's better? I mean, you'll you'll learn that it's gotten better if you look in hindsight, but you have to go through the years, and you have to go through the potential depression and anxiety in order to get to the point where you realize that a lot of good stuff happened in the past. But they're not going to listen to these videos. They're so intent on finding the evil in me that um, they're going to invite evil into themselves because... What they're doing is they're <laughs> they're really not uh, they're trying to make me feel bad and and I I'm depressed enough and I don't have I mean if they really want to dig into inside of me and and see what is going on inside of my mind um, I can dig up all kinds of shit and uh, point out that I'm not satisfied with the world I'm not satisfied the way this is and I don't have any intent on living life the way people live in this world i i don't want to make friends i don't want to have a family i don't want to have children i see it as pretty fucked up and i really don't want it to to i don't want to encourage it okay it was pretty fucked up from the very beginning and i don't see any need to in, encourage it anymore for myself I I like to help people I like to inform people I like to instruct people but um, the things I want to do that to how I do to people there's just no venue for it and so the only thing I can do is I can either give it out in these videos and some one person might be willing to to learn something from it or discount some of the other shit I say because it isn't all consistent. You pick and choose what you like and what you don't like. Everybody does. And then you take that and you determine what you can use when instructing other people. And the people that are intent on teaching other people, they might listen to some of my videos to determine certain little ideas that might work. Because I do have a certain amount of technique to when I do things. But I, I have a perversion. And my perversion is in is in the sexual area. It isn't that I have sex at all. I actually prefer not to have sex. Because it's too much work. I, I don't see any point in, in doing acrobatics and being over and under somebody in a, in a you know in a physical form. To me it makes more sense that the only thing that's operating the the sensory system is my hand and nothing is going to do it better than that instant feedback loop um, there's no woman that could be there copulating the, the, the cock there's there's no person I could be with and I get way more stimulus from VR porn than I get from that I would ever get from actually being there because there is no woman that is going to talk, look at a camera the way that they're looking at me um, <coughs> and so um, I mean there is no you know if I the other the other way around there's there's no woman that's going to look at me the way they look at that camera and the expressions that they're showing on their face are well learned and they've used countless times because they're manipulative and that's fine but they found something that they can make money off of that's not going to use men directly. That's fine. And I'm thankful that they do exist. And if they feel down, I feel the need to inspire them and let them know that they're doing a good thing. They just don't realize it. And there's some that think that 
it's awful, you know, it's evil and stuff, and I think it's more evil to control people than it is to give them the satisfaction of, of, of experiencing an extreme pleasure. There are people that are going to be chasing the dragon no matter what. If you give them a drug, they're going to figure out ways of getting into their bloodstream in a more efficient manner. Um, that's, that's just the way it works. And if it's a sexual addiction, they're going to figure out ways of getting at wherever the, the nerve endings are that's giving them the pleasure. And um, I've experimented with something called sounding. Now I'll never do it again. I mean... If I do, it'll be, if I'm really chasing, if one night I'm just really elated that I've wanted to get that, that satisfaction, I might shove a, uh, the equivalent of a large paintbrush down my cock. That's what sounding is. And I've done it several times, and I've done it with wires, and um, it sounds really disgusting. People would say, <laughs> this is what the guy said. He says, I wonder if there's a way we can keep you from getting around schools. Look, I'm nowhere near any school. I'm out in the country. Um, and there are no children out where I live. These are all old folks. Their children are grandchildren. They hardly ever see them. And if they do, that's usually at their, at their children's houses. I don't see children at all. They're nowhere in my neighborhood. Um, all I ever see are these old folks walking around. And so, and they don't think I'm a, a problem at all. The only thing I ever do that they see of me is I walk around the block and I sing songs. And I'll sing 80s or 70s songs. And then I come in and I help my parents and I do, you know, things that... I mean, you would have a very, very hard time drawing a relationship between what I do in private and what I do public because they're nothing like each other and what I do in private is just me it's just I'm the only person in my room and it's just whatever I want to look at and that's as far as it goes it's all you really need to know and if you fear me imagine how many other fucktards uh, you're going to be fearful of in the world and if you're fearful of all those people, then you're screwed up. You're you're fucked up um, to to think that somehow you can keep um, the lions and the tigers and the and the animals that are lurking in the woods from getting getting you someday. You know, we don't have those fears anymore because all that stuff's been controlled. Now our fears are other people. You know. Because their brains are always going to produce something to fear. And I say fear the friggin' taxes we're going to have to pay for the next 50 to 60, 70 years. You know. I, I feel sorry for the children. That they're going to have to go through that. You know. I, I'm, I have a serious empathy. I don't feel any need to cause harm to anyone. The only time I cause any kind of harm, it's usually verbal abuse, and it's inside of this game. Um, and if somebody pushes on me, I push back. And then they, they think that somehow they're going to be able to manipulate we, me with all of this stuff, like, you know, talking about um, the things that I'm attracted to and stuff. Um, I'm not going to get into it, but, you know, every, every guy has been attracted by jailbait. I mean, there's a whole friggin' website based on it called Motherless. I mean, and that site's got millions and millions of users. x has got millions and millions of users. Pornhub's got millions and millions of users. All of those sites have sounding in them. They've got all sorts of kinds of sex acts. And to say that I'm going to cause damage to your children when your children are going to those sites anyhow is bullshit, Okay. Your your children are being affected by the internet way more than I'm being affect than I'm affecting them, and I was children once too. And how I came to be involved with with all this stuff is as a result of the internet. So, the internet is fucking up everything, and probably the best thing that we could do is to somehow take out all the porn that's on the net if we could. Um, or to, to limit it only to people that are paying for it, you know. It's not, doesn't make any sense.
to uh, I mean the porn industry has been made worse by the internet even so you for I mean for everybody the internet has really not benefited much as such for in video games you know but we don't even really need the internet for such things as well you know we probably do be do best to pretty much eliminate the internet because the only thing that gets transferred to the internet is anything that's that people can copy or send for free and that's pretty much all art all music you know the only things that are not going to get trans or the only things that are not going to be transmitted over the internet quickly are things like the plumbers that work on your pipes you know unless somehow they can put the AI uh, firmware on the net and load it up into a plumber bot that does your plumbing that's the only time that's going to affect plumbers you know so you can still have guys playing this game which are would be plumbers that are drunk on Friday nights and are just bullshitting the whole time you know like balls BS I just I'm not, I don't get depressed at all, really. The only time I I get tearful is whenever I see something, I see somebody trying to express something, and then the person on the other end will not reciprocate what it is they're trying to express. They're just ignoring them. So whenever I see people just really doing their best to ignore the other, um, that's what makes me cry. Um... And the guys that show up in this game, I would I would trust them to anything. I, I mean, I will I'll reveal stuff, but it's stuff I reveal publicly. It's stuff they can't really use. They think they can use it as blackmail or stuff like that, but it's not stuff that's going to hold up in court of law, and it's not going to matter anyhow, because I don't go out and pursue such things. I have conspiracies, uh, theories of my own, and uh, yeah, it's um, starting to wonder where my <laughs> yeah, I'm yawning. Okay, what the f where the frick am I? I'm on I'm on uh, Amorish. It's Amorish. That's right. I think I'm gonna go in fat. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm sick of this.